As academic science begins to increasingly recognize the effectiveness of practices such as yoga, meditation, acupuncture, etc., more and more people are realizing that we are beings made of energy and that we must take into account how the energies around us influence us. According to what was already considered by the Taoist masters of ancient China, and subsequently demonstrated by quantum physics, we are all connected also through space-time dimensions, and we are connected to the cosmic way, the Tao. With this knowledge, it is a personal responsibility to decide if we want to connect to the flow of this energy of love that surrounds us, or ignore it and cut ourselves off from it. However, cosmic energy will continue to flow. If you decide to want to invite it into our lives and drink its abundance, then here you will find ideas on how to reactivate your relationship with the cosmos. 1. Estimate the level of negative energy in you. Sometimes we don't even realize how much negativity is present in us. It can be self-perpetuated and attract negative people into our lives. You can help measure your negative energy level with the following Christy Sheldon test. Find a quiet place and look inside. It all starts with self-awareness. You complain? Always or only sometimes? Do you often discuss how wrong there is in the world more than it does for what is good? Including the terrible climate, the horrendous traffic, the idiot government, the disgusting economy, the stupid in-laws, etc. Criticize? Do you always do it or only towards some? You're drawn to dramas and disasters. Can't you get away from the TV when there's a new disaster and you can't avoid being drawn to the dysfunctional lives of some celebrities? Blame? Always or only some situations? Do you think you are not in control of most of your results? Do you feel victimized? Are you talking about how people treat you? Are you grateful for who you are or will be when things finally start to improve? Do you feel like things happen to you? Or do you feel that they happen through you? It takes courage to be honest with yourself and accept yourself when you are very negative. You create your experiences. The cosmic energy around you will guide you through these experiences, but it is up to you to experience them in gratitude. Along the way, being grateful for what happens to you, for better or for worse, will attract more positive energy into your life. 2. Limit the dialogue of the ego that criticizes and doubts. Most of us, at some point in our lives, struggle against the negative thought and judgment of the egoic mind that speaks within us. That Nothing good will happen I will never succeed I will never find the right job. Sometimes the mind is deafening. Sometimes it can even be dangerous. I'm a horrible person, I don't deserve happiness, guiding you towards mistrust and doubt. If you do not place limits on this ego dialogue, you are detached from the omnipresent flow of cosmic energy at your disposal. You need to learn to be in control of your thinking, gain mental calm and balance, to reaffirm your boundaries and your relationship with the cosmos. Sometimes we have to motivate ourselves on a daily basis to face negativity and address its sources, ego mind, stressful life, crazy world, etc. Below are some daily statements, use the ones that sound best with you, or use them as a cue to create your own. Write them down, keep them in sight and say them aloud. What others say about me is their problem, not mine. I am free to be myself. Life is not perfect, but I am sure it is wonderful. It's okay that there are difficult days. Even in difficulties, I have so much to be thankful for. Every experience is just another important lesson. Nothing lasts forever. Making a mistake is the first step towards the right. I don't need to hold on to what holds me back. My happiness today is simply the result of my thinking. It is important for those who spend quality time. Drama and judgment are a waste of perfect joy. Most people judge me less than they seem. I can make the world a happier place. Work deserves every effort. 4. Release all the limitations of body, mind, spirit. The energies of the sun, earth, galaxy, and cosmos influence us through the subtle energies of higher dimensional levels, 
on the physical, etheric and spiritual plane. It is easy for us to get caught up in the physical plane and believe that it only matters what we experience on this. In fact, our energy field and our spirit also communicate with cosmic energy. If we remember this connection to the cosmos on each level of the true self that dwells in the human form, we can help us open the channel of communication with the highest energies in the universe. Here we experience a deeper transformation at all levels, in the body, mind, spirit, and soul. Practices like yoga, tai chi, qigong, although used to relieve stress, can help you realize true awareness beyond the fear on which the reality of 3D is set. Furthermore, specific practices focused on opening the heart chakra, the Anaheda energy center, are effective in increasing the heart's ability to assimilate cosmic energy. 5. Clean your outdoor space. Many of your efforts to connect to cosmic energy require inner centering, time spent in silence and solitude in a healthy environment. For this reason, it is important that the space in which we live is cleaned of negative and stagnant energies, as much as our inner space. Often you hear about the importance of removing the mess, throwing away useless things and reorganizing the space by moving the furniture. This thing is a practical way to make you feel lighter and more positive. Consider doing more than just cleaning, purifying the areas where you spend most of your time with sage, like the home office and the car. Purification cleans up the whole energy field, creating a new more balanced and healthy space. The process can be carried out in a simple way with just four tools. A bunch of white sage, to represent the earth. An abalone shell, to represent the water. A feather, to represent air. And fire to light the sage. You can also use bells, recite mantras or prayers, spread salt in the corners of each room and use natural incense. Creating a living space with less negative energy is important but don't forget to venture out. Reconnecting yourself to nature by retreating to a quiet place with few people, less electromagnetic pollution and without information media can help you to open up to the natural flow of the universe. You will need to detach yourself from your usual rhythm of life, in order to become more in tune with yourself. When you can't get out, make sure you have a place to retreat during your moments of introspection and reduce electromagnetic pollution at home. 6. Practice Authentic Meditation Meditation begins with a brief daily practice, which for some may be simple mental relaxation or sitting still. The more meditation you do, the more energy you receive. This energy will flow through the entire mind-slash-body-slash-spirit structure of the true self. With perseverance, the meditation practice gets longer and longer, dissolving thought more and more, until the intuition of the universe is activated and the clarity that enriches our lives is conquered. The process of bringing more cosmic energy into your lives will harmonize and balance your connection with the Tao. This is a fundamental relationship and interaction in every aspect of our lives. It is up to us to decide how deeply we want to benefit from this relationship, and if we are ready to expand our consciousness. If you want to uncover what has been encoded in your destiny when you were born, there's a free, personalized numerology report you can grab here.